All right, so it's time for our weekly plant progress report. Let's take a look at all of the plants I grow in my carnivorous plant nursery so you can see what's normal this time of year and you don't have to freak out about how yours look. The temperate plants are all plants that we grow outside year round in zone nine. And these plants go into a winter dormancy, but the Saracenia are all in different stages of that. And you can really see it displayed here. These bright yellow ones are Rubra albumensis. The Aleda look really nice behind them. But when we walk over here a little bit, you can see that the Flava are starting to fade. This is totally normal. And down there, you can see the Leucophylla are still looking really white and lovely. They're gonna still look nice for a little while, even though we're having a lot of rain and cold. And the Purple Rhea still look pretty amazing. That's the Venus fly traps are going to be dying back more and more. We're going to see a lot of their tall summer traps starting to die back and turn black. This is Persephone, named because it keeps its summer traps longer than anything else we've grown, so it kind of avoids dormancy for a little while. But you can see a lot of these plants are starting to die back. A lot of black traps. It's totally normal. Temperate sundews, like all of these, die back pretty hard around this time of year. You can see there's still some growth, but a lot of them have died back really hard. This is normal. This is their little bud they're going to grow out of next year. This is healthy, so don't worry if you see that. And sometimes you can see right here, look, they look like little black buttons in the soil. These hibernacula are really important. That's what the plant overwinters with. Here in the greenhouse, the Nepenthes are pretty happy with our conditions. They're tropical plants that don't have a winter dormancy. They may slow down, but that's normal. Helium fora also don't have a winter dormancy. They're just going to look spectacular. We're starting to see gemme form on the tops of the pygmy sundews. This is an asexual form of reproduction. We'll do more videos on this later, but if you're seeing your plants start to make these, you want to harvest them because you can sow them on peat and perlite and make a million more sundews. It's also tuberous drosphorus season, so the winter growing tuberous sundews are all starting to grow. Don't freak out if yours haven't broken the surface yet. They can take a little while. They can be fussy, and honestly, they can even skip a year. So these are cephalotus. You guys asked me to check it on these. These Australian pitcher plants don't have a winter dormancy, but like all things, they can slow down because of the shorter photo periods. This is a good time of year to dry them out more in between watering because you don't want them to rot. In this time of year, we're often going to be sending you succulent stage pinguicula. That means these plants are in their succulent leaves for the winter and have stopped growing their carnivorous leaves. They're going to be small and cute and tight like this crazy little Queen Cthulhu ball. But then once the weather heats up and they get more sun, they're going to expand into their carnivorous growth. Also, just a side note, they're going to be really small when they're in succulent stage, but they're going to be so much bigger when they're in carnivorous stage. So don't let the size fool you. Dry out your pings. It's that time of year. All right, thanks for joining me for our weekly plant progress report, where I hope we can ease some of your fears about seasonality in these plants. And if you want me to look at a specific genus next week, just post it in the comments below.